Hello, I'm going to show you how to mod the new way. So the first thing is, open up the screenshots folder. For Windows, that's just percent app data percent slash onverse slash onverse. Next, create a new folder here named onverse. And inside it, make a new folder named data. Now for this video, I'm going to go back to the screenshots folder and to show you something and open up another folder to where Converse is installed and put those side by side. Okay, so if you notice, it has cache here on the left and on the right and config here on the left and right, even though they're two separate folders. Um, so that's the best way to show you that. The folder structure on the left will work completely on the right in the screenshots folder. So go into onverse here and here and data and both. And you'll see live assets here. This is where onverse's files really are. So let's copy that from the left to the right real quick. And I'll pause the video until that finishes. Okay, so now the live assets folder is in both, um, the, where onverse is installed and in the screenshots folder. Inside, we need to delete two folders from here, so onverse will work for future updates. These are files that always need to be up to date so that onverse doesn't crash. Files that we can't change anyways. So go into the engine folder and delete the terrain folder. Then go back, and we're going to delete this. You can actually edit the textures in here, but if you do, then you'll want to make sure to delete all these diff files, which can be a pain. Um, so that way it works for updates. So let's delete that. Now that that's done, you can mod just like normal here by switching them, especially shape files, and editing textures however you like. Um, so for an example, Let's edit one of the pets. Um, so you see how there's a devil dog here and the beagle dog. Let's say you have the beagle dog, but you want to use the devil dog instead. So what you can do is you can delete this file, copy this and paste it, and rename the new file dog underscore beagle underscore, well not leprechaun. Well yeah, I guess if you have the leprechaun one, um, name it that instead. And then let's say you want to change that back afterwards. Well, normally you don't even have that file, so you either have to deal with it or reinstall onverse. Well, because of the way this works, you're always going to have two copies of every file no matter what, because you have onverse installed here, and you're only going to be touching the files in the screenshot folder. So what you can do is you can either delete this, and then instead of onverse using this from now on, this file right here, it'll use the one in where onverse is installed and this is like the backup or if you want to change it again later um, possibly or if you just want to know that that's there you can delete this and then copy that over to here so you now have both files again um, when onverse runs it won't use both of these files it'll only look in the screenshots folder and if it finds what it needs it'll use this if it doesn't find anything here then it'll start using these files and normally it just uses these files because there's never anything here. But because of what we're doing, it'll use the ones that we're modding. Um, the other thing you could do is you can edit textures of files, you know, just like normal. And um, you can edit this like an image. You can actually change it and everything. And once again, same as with the, the shape file, you can delete this and then it'll start using this. Or copy that over if you want to change it again, start over. Um, probably the biggest reason for modding in this style is when the patcher updates, it updates any files you've modded if um, it has to update those files. And you'll just lose everything, all, all that work. Or if it notices you've changed something, then the patcher will fail completely and then it'll ask you to reinstall all of Onverse. Well, if you mod in the screenshots folder, the patcher never looks at this stuff. It'll just so you can do whatever you want here, and the patch will never care. 
um, what it will update is this stuff. And if you want to um, update, if you want to edit and mod the new stuff, then you'll have to copy it back over here. But that's really simple compared to um, it crashing. It's not work. It not even updating. You have to reinstall. The only thing that it does do that you have to worry about is so. Let's go back to the screenshots folder. Um, every time Onverse makes an update, it'll try deleting this Onverse folder. But that's really easy to avoid. There's two ways to do it. If you know when an update's about to happen and you'd rather be more risky and take the easy way out, then right before an update happens, you can rename this to Onverse 2 or something else. And after it updates, change it back. Um, it only will delete this if it change, if it updates to a new version. So. Um, it's okay to change it back afterwards and keep it like that. The other thing to do, the one that I recommend is you change this folder to be read only. So right click properties, um, check it as read only, and then click OK, and click OK again. And as you can see, it can take a while because there's basically 20,000 files in there. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, when you want to save one of these files, you might need to change it from read only to, well, you just right click the file properties, uncheck it, OK, and then you save it. Then afterwards, you might have to change it back, but it's a lot simpler than, um, let's say, um, renaming this. If I try putting a one there in the regular Onverse um, installation, it gives me an admin prompt. Um, and if you're trying to edit one of these texture files directly with like Photoshop, it won't even let you save because it requires administrative privileges. And what you normally have to do is you have to save it somewhere else and copy it over here. Well, instead you can just edit it directly here and it'll work. Anyways, that's how to start modding explained. In my next few videos, I'll show you examples of me modding so you can understand how to mod if you haven't before. That's it.